Hello, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I've got a new tool. It is a Bluetooth graphing multimeter, two channel uh, by Curion. This is the N2 Neuron. I've been looking at it for uh, for a little while now. Finally decided to bite the bullet and get it. So today's video is just going to be a couple of basic tests with it, just to see how it is. Uh, we're going to do a battery state of charge test, and then a battery cranking test on two vehicles. This Beamer, which I know the battery is bopped. And then I've got a, yeah, Skoda Roomster, which had a new battery about two months ago, two and a half months ago perhaps, when I bought it. So... Hopefully this is going to be able to, uh, yeah, give us the answers that we want. Tell me that this battery's knackered and the new one on the Skoda is in good condition. Let's get started. So battery's in the boot on this Beamer. Pull this panel out of the way. And this is what we've got. Obviously you get your normal probes. I like these crocodile clips because you can just clip them on and forget about them. You don't have got to worry whether they've got a good connection or anything like that. And then I've got an old mobile phone. We'll open the Curian app, which is there. There we are, connected. And there we are, straight away, if you know, that is a low voltage for a battery. But we're connected, if I take off the negative, that's basically zero volts, clip it back on. So I'm just going to leave this floating around in here. I'm going to screen record this. And then, uh, yeah, I'm going to hold the phone. You'll see what I can see. So, first thing we need to do is click something. What do we click? Click where it says off. On the bottom screen, that has got the voltage. You've got zero min max, sound off, and then off. If you click off, that brings up a list of tests that you can do. And we are going to click on the battery system. <clears throat> Uh, we're going to do state of charge, battery SOC, and obviously, because the battery is pretty low, it says recharge before testing. I'm not going to because I do have a new battery coming for this. I say new, brand new, second hand. Um, so I'm not even going to charge it up. So yeah, state of charge, not good. Let's have a look at the... Surface discharge. <clears throat> I'm not really sure when you're supposed to use that. The other one I want to test is a cranking test. So, battery okay. I'm going to go, go for a crank and just watch the voltage on this. Oof. That struggled dropped right down to yes <clears throat> seven and a half volts almost okay let's move on to the battery that is brand new brand new two months ago so here we are at the Skoda <clears throat> let's hook this 
up to this battery there we are we'll load the app up again and let's uh, yeah sit in the driver's seat right we're recording again and i don't know if this battery's a bit low as well it's only 12.2 so i'm going to click on the battery systems test battery state of charge recharge before testing in fairness this car has been sat for two weeks now without being used so that may have an effect oh oh it says it's good to test now so we'll go to battery systems again cranking test and Battery okay, dropped to nine-ish volts. My lead must have come off. It says zero now. Taz look popped off down there. With the multimeters flopping everywhere. There we go, battery okay, should we try that again? Yeah, I think it just dropped below 10 volts. So there we are, my first experience with the N2 Neuron. It actually isn't, because I used it the other day. My second or third experience with the N2 Neuron. And could be the future. Yeah, obviously, the battery on the beamer is in the boot. So, being able to hook this up and just close the boot and then go wires wirelessly to. I'm using an old phone, you could use a tablet if you wanted a bigger screen. That might be something I show in the future. Um, you know, and use the graphing mode. Uh, I'm going to go through. We'll try and go through most of the features on this in yeah separate videos. I like it. I like it. Um, yeah. Obviously, you, I know you can get longer leads. Um, so being wireless, does it, if you've got five meter leads, you can bring the leads around to the front of the vehicle and still be able to look at a standard multimeter, but. I don't know, maybe it's just a gimmick, but yeah, I do enjoy it. I'm looking forward to getting to use some of these, you know, the sensor tests you can do. Temperature tests, power tests, ignition system, starting system, voltage drops. Yeah, on solenoid switches, connectors, battery terminals, yeah, all sorts. So, mm, yeah, I'm hoping I can... Uh, use most of these features and hopefully accurately diagnose whatever the issue may be that is yeah gonna be a big factor does it make diagnosing quicker simpler more accurate anyway thanks for listening to me waffle that is the end of this video see you next time cheers bye